quick tech tip here guys I went to take this cap off now it's difficult to get off I don't know if you can hear that or see that but that valve core definitely leaking so everybody's got their way to to check those and I've got my own little way here so a lot of guys take a cap and drill a hole in it and put bubble soap on it I use this if you look closely I took a pair of needle nose and I yanked out the core depressor so it won't depress the core anymore so when you screw it on It should not raise the gauge at all. And look, and that tells you that it's leaking because you can see there, there's nothing to depress the core. That was a cool idea. Okay, I've got a new core right here to uh, put in it. it. Looks like I actually got it to stop. And I think I did. Or it could be barely, but I went and got this tool. This is my favorite one. I think it's an Appian, or at least a fake Appian. Now it says it right there on it. So, yeah, I think I did get it to stop, but I'm going to still try to change it. I don't trust it. And I've worked this appy on with one hand many a time. So there are some older videos of me using that and whatnot. Yes, looks like maybe it is still leaking. So let's see if this tool will take it out. Thank God, look at that. So, I don't know if it's magnetic or if it's just got a better and that other cheap one might be warped or something. So, I don't know why that's leaking. Hopefully, it's the core, the stem, and not the seat. But, let's take this new one. put it back in with the old dependable Appian. a couple of minutes make sure it doesn't move it's 
so it hasn't budged it's been a good five or six minutes so that's what I do guys get you one of these man there is no absolute fool in this thing just take your pair of needle nose and jerk that cord depressor out and there you go thanks for watching